Five exciting facts about Hayami Saudi san. Do you have that one seiyu that you feel is in practically every anime that you watch? Well, for me, that's Hayami Saudi san. You may know her best as Yoru Forger in Spy Family, Shinobu Kocho in Demon Slayer, and Yuki no Iku no Shita in Ore ga Iru. However, did you know these five interesting facts about Hayami Saudi san? <laughs> Hayami Saudi, aka Hayami, was born on May 29, 1991, in Tokyo, Japan. Around the time Hayami san was a fourth grader in elementary school, she and her mother were watching a dub version of an Audrey Hepburn movie. At the time, Hayami san thought that the actors studied Japanese to do voiceovers for their characters. However, one day she came to the shocking realization that other voice actors were dubbing the characters in the film. After learning this, she became intrigued by the Sei profession. Watching those dubbed films by Ikeda Masako san was why she came to understand that there was a profession called voice acting. Due to Hayami san's shy personality, she couldn't directly tell her parents that she wanted to become a seiyu. So, to give them a hint, she decided to leave magazines open on top of the living room table with a page left on an advertisement for the training school she wanted to attend. <laughs> when Hayami san's parents noticed, Hayami san was able to let them know that it was something she was interested in. However, her mother told her that if it was something that she was genuinely interested in, she would need to call the training school herself to apply. When Hayami san reached her first year of middle school, she joined the junior voice acting class of the Nihon narration Engi Kenkyujo. During her second year of middle school, Hayami san passed the audition for I'm Enterprise in 2006 and was able to debut as a trainee. Her first job was on a drama CD for Koharu Biori. Then in 2007, at the age of 16, she made her anime debut as Momoka Kawakabe, the main heroine in Touka Getta. On April 5, 2011, Hayami san got her own radio show called Hayami Saudi no Freestyle, which has become a long running program lasting more than 10 years. Even though she had a tight schedule, she was able to attend Waseda University and graduated in March 2014. On April 21, 2015, Warner Brothers Home Entertainment announced that Hayami san would make her solo artist debut. She released her first single titled Yesashi Kibo on August 12, 2015. And on May 25, 2016, she released her first album titled Live, Love, Laugh. In 2016, Hayami san also won the Best Supporting Actress Award at the 10th Annual Seiyu Awards. In 2017, Hayami san's radio show won the award for Best Comfort Radio at the 3rd Aniraji Awards. Continuing on with her success, she went on to play characters such as Shirai Shizuki from A Place Further Than the Universe, Shinobu Kocho from Demon Slayer, Fushiguro Tsumuki from Jujutsu Kaisen, and Sakurai Toko from My Senpai is Annoying. On May 13, 2022, Hayami san dubbed the voice of Princess Anne, played by Audrey Hepburn, who was her inspiration to become a voice actress in the movie Roman Holiday. <laughs> 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 It's amazing that Hayami san was able to come full circle to play a character that inspired her to pursue the voice acting profession. Hayami san has a very well put together and polite personality. When she first joined the office, she greeted Shimono Hiro san, a senior in the office, with Gokigen yo when she met him for the first time. Shimono san, who had never used the phrase, responded with Gokigen yo as well. Hayami san attended a prestigious girls' school during junior high and high school, and this was how everyone greeted each other, so she wasn't sure how people usually greeted each other at work. Shimono san was overwhelmed by Hayami san's older sister Ora, even though she was only 14 years old. It made him very nervous. He also stated that her level of maturity was something that most middle school students didn't possess. If Hayami san came up to you and said Gokigen yo, how would you respond? Hayami san's biggest fan is Sukita Tomokazu san. <laughs> He has praised Hayami san because she voiced the heroine from the game Love Plus. His love for the character was so strong that he confessed to Hayami san during the 71st episode of her radio. She <laughs> <laughs> 
There have been many other instances where he mentions Hayami san during radio shows or events. During the Tales of Zillia radio show, Yonaga Tsubasa san tells Hayami san they have a message from Sukita san for her. In the message, Sukita san tells Hayami san that he wants to hear her voice more. Yonaga san then tells her that when Sukita san was on the show, he told them to let him know when the date that Hayami san is on the show is decided, so that if his schedule is open, he will come over. When Hayami san was a guest on Sukita san Mafia Kachita san's radio show, he mentioned how he had played so many games that Hayami san happened to be in. When Sukita san got the chance to meet her for the first time, he had to throw away that knowledge and get to know her. As an actual person first. He said that you should separate the character from the real person because that's where you should start if you're going to like that person. I think it's safe to say that Sukita san is a Hayami Saudi otaku. Hayami san has a wide range of voices. From a soothing and transparent voice to a psychotic and sadistic voice. When it comes to her angel like voice, she is considered to be in the same category as Kayana Ai san or Ueda Rena san as a healing type seiyu. During the radio for Demon Slayer, Hanai Natsuki san talks about Hayami san's character, Shinobu, and her family, which coincidentally includes Kayana Ai san and Ueda Rena san. <laughs> He says they all have similar vibes, especially their healing type voice. But he continues to mention that even though the characters sound elegant, you can feel the psychotic side of the characters too. <laughs> Hayami san often plays calm characters but can also play characters that are psycho or even swear or are snobbish. In the anime Oreimo, she played Aragaki Ayase. Taketatsu Ayana san said Hayami san was scary during episode 5, where Ayase and Kirino see each other at Komike. Ayase grabs Kirino's arm, asking her, Why are you running away? Hanazawa Kana san then says that she remembers the director saying it was too scary. Hayami san agrees and says that she remembers everyone was half smiling, and the atmosphere got heavy. Hayami san's great variety of voices is stunning, but can be frightening at the same time. Hayami san calls herself a fantastic artist. People even say that her artwork is genius. This is because painting was one of the many things she learned when she was young. She often boasts that when she was still little, her drawing was so impressive that it was even chosen to be hung in a museum. In Seiyu to Yoasobi, she adds that people around the world praised the drawing and gave her an award when it was chosen. The recognition of her talent as an artist has reached far beyond where she often shows her drawing skills in most of the shows she appears in. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Do you believe that Hayami san could be the next Picasso? After hearing all of these wonderful facts, do you think it's time to start a Hayami Saudi fan club with Sukita san? Please let us know in the comments what your thoughts are and which character of Hayami san is your favorite. Also, let us know your favorite voice actor or actress so we can make a video about them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye bye!